I'm at Free Eats Arvin. I've met up with uh, Emil. I spoke to Emil, what, about six weeks ago before you went to yeah. Rockall. Yeah. And we uh, featured you on the podcast of going there. Yeah. Did you enjoy it and did you achieve your goals? <laughs> I enjoyed so much. It was one of the biggest happiness that I had it in the last time. Now it takes the time to realize everything, how it was. But from day to day, from every single moment to single moment, they just come more and more happiness that we really done it. We done it. We made it. You know, that was a dream, and every single step was difficult. Was very difficult, but we manage. And the next step, and manage, and the next step, but we all, until we sit there and start to work. The first few souls, the second, the third, thousands, two thousand, three thousand, six hundred, and. At the end, uh, after 52 hours, we done 7,227 cursors. It was so big project, so much fear, so much thinking, so much highs and deeps. And now it's reality. I'm see there. I'm still alive. It yeah. was a really risky situations there, but I'm still alive, and I can talk about this great experience now. It's, it's one of those experiences in life that you wanted to do. One of the biggest experiences in the life, yeah. yeah. And you've now done it. So, with so many contacts in such a short time, yeah. did you get any sleep at all at any no. time? No, I sleep so around about two and a half, three hours. I don't know exactly how, because we started in the middle of the night and 52 hours, it was just... Uh, on the air time but uh, the time before and the time after we had perhaps 24 hours and after the 24 hours that we not sleep it was something like four four and a half days without any sleep or something like this or two and a half three hours it was just running and doing something and and, and make yourselves uh, prepare equipment prepare a camp climbing and so on it was really a amazing thing well, you're a lot younger than me, but I remember years ago when I was a field service engineer traveling all over the UK, the adrenaline, once you get the adrenaline going, you can stay awake for ages, can't you? You, can, you you're just focused on what you're doing. Yeah, that was a focus with a thousand percent focus of this step now. Yeah. And after that, managed a thousand percent concentrate it and manage the next step I, I mean really every single step until to come there to reach the island two times I fall in the water try again fall in the water try again the third time it was lucky and then manage the first five to six steps find the hole find the ledge secure make a rope take the another equipment over the the next step, climb the next two meters, secure the tear, put the peat on, put the friends, go with the ropes, take the nobi, take the equipment there, and so on. Every single step until to the summit, secure the summit out, take the camp over there to be safe. Every guy that will be safe, nothing. And after that, on the top, when we was three person then I say, okay, the next step. Now we need all stuff to come uh, come up and pull up and yeah. we spent around about eight hours to take all our stuff from the main boat over there perhaps two or three thousand kilograms we put it over there and then finally like I told the first time the finally it's something like the the the, mm, the point of uh, the lucky just sit on the radio and start to make your sauce. That was a really a long way, but with the with the first QSO, that was the happiness to say, yes, now we on this point, we come on this point to activate this island, this rare island, the most rare island, um, and um, it was a really happiness. So, what a lot of people <laughs> won't understand, and you just explained it very well, the amount of sheer effort once you arrived at Rockall and there was a lot yeah. of work before you got there but once you arrived there getting on to Rockall and climbing up to the top because it's not just to get on a walk up guys Emil has explained you have to climb you have to carry all your gear up there so 
when you get to the top there's nothing there really is there? That, that was amazing no it nothing. was amazing it was a we a, a, a other world world it was really like you go on the other, other planet because when i i go from the step side over there and the first looking on this ledge yeah. it was completely white from the bird sheet and so it was uh, so many uh, birds there but it was like a, a completely other planet and say now i'm here and after i put the first rope and secure from from minutes to minutes it was uh, the feeling just come hey this is your home for the next days yeah. you should prepare so best as you can that you can feel perfect that you can feel well and with every single step and moment that we can luggage over there our tent and put all together at the end it was my home yeah. i was completely uh, comfortable there i yeah. say hey I have here tent, my sleeping bag, my radio station, this is my sitting place, everything I arrange, not so far from me, sit there and make your sauce. And I said, this is my home, nothing others. It was so amazing to look in, out, outside, to see from, from outside, Thank you. Um, to see the, um, this, uh, the world over there, from 20 meters up, to see the ocean, all that stuff and see there is nothing there is just water it's nothing there is no ship there is nothing it's just completely wild place and you've seen all 360 degrees is just water and the only single uh, so uh, uh, that was the birds and so some whales and you see your middle of the of the nature you are part of the nature because the birds also they they didn't don't know I'm a human. Yeah. They just sit there completely cool, no fear, nothing. And I saw I'm also uh, something like this. I'm also uh, uh, like a bird, but a human. But yeah. you are a part of the nature. You know, it was it was amazing feeling, really amazing feeling. Sounds, sounds absolutely brilliant. Now I know you took Nobby with you. Yeah. Did he have as much fun as you? Yeah, yeah. Nobby is a great guy. Cam is a great guy. It's all our team that it was one of the best i can say at the moment the best team that i had it because all other guys we was nine person work all together it's really hard all together to support each other you know normally we had the four hour shifts yeah. into to go up and you make sailing go down four hours sleep go four hours in the last day, normally I had the, the uh, shift uh, until from, from zero o'clock to four o'clock in the morning that we arrived the island. Yeah. And the people just come to the team and say, you're a lucky man, we decide that you go now and sleep for the night because yeah. the more is your day. You're the climber, you're the man guy that you can secure and make all that's possible. It was really amazing. I had a, a, a fear in my eye because I said, that's a great team, you know, support each other. Everybody was cool, was really in so different situation and the people are help each other. And that was the key to success, to success. Really great, yeah, really. If you've got a great team, it makes life a lot more enjoyable, doesn't it? So that's a yeah. good one. So, I'm not going to hold you too long because there are lots of people trying to get hold of you today <laughs> and I've been lucky to get you. Are you planning to do another the expedition? Yeah, 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 yeah. And now come um, again and again and new dreams. Yeah. What happened, I don't know, but I'm I'm open for the adventures. I'm, I don't looking for adventures. I just, my head and my mind is open for adventures. And when I see something uh, like something like uh, Rocco or similar like Rocco, that they say, "Wow, it seems to be impossible," yeah. and you start to work in your mind, in your head, and say, "Of course, okay, perhaps, perhaps, perhaps it's difficult, but perhaps, perhaps," and then start to work, start to be material to see what you need, how you can manage it. Then, then it's then. It's, it's, it's born a new project, it's born something bigger and I'm sure the next one will come.
I'm sure you will. <laughs> now, before we finish, if uh, somebody wanted to contact you, and I probably asked you this before, what website would they look for you? So the website, what we have in, uh, in uh, um, it's rockalexpert.com. Uh, we need, of course, support, more support at this moment because we need to, to take a camp in a couple of days. So after 20, 25 days from the, from the Rockle there, we need to collect, of course, money for the charity that is a, a social project from yeah. a camp, but it's also a project also f uh, of us because we are a team and we work, work it also together. If the people have the opportunity, just give us a donation. We should pay, of course, all that stuff with the engine, with the boat and so on. There is a keep all open some uh, uh, some thing to do, then, but it will be a great. Yeah. One last question before I thank you. Did you leave anything behind like Emil was here on the rock? Um, Did you leave it? I leave my sorry. head there. But I put on three on three points uh, pitons, three pitons and one friend is from me there. And I tell, okay, I'm sure they will be safe for a long time. And the people, the next expedition, or people just leaving or just arrived, this he will find these pitons, and this is uh, something to, to secure the way on this rock. And this is a part for me, but also for the next people that want to reach uh, this rock there well that sounds like fun listen Emil I know you're busy I'm gonna thank you very much for your time thank you very you, much thank you very enjoy much enjoy yourself I enjoy Cheers. the people like you because I won't say as the last it's not just me just not the team the ham radio the fascination is the both side I have so much fun and I was so so lucky because we had both sides. We was there and I love it. I enjoyed so much this pile up because the pile up was the thanksful to me to say, hey guy, you are there and we want to work you. We want yeah. to make a contact with you. And so some people say to me, Emil, we was wait of you 18 years just for this single moment. Couple of people took the holidays for three days that he want to work with us and spend so much time that all that was happening is, is both sides is more important thing. It's a great. Yeah, it's great. Listen, have a great show. Thank you. Enjoy Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank we'll you very much. Soon. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs>